Welcome to Bloop DIRT. In this video, we will take a look on how to export Gerbo files from Autodesk Fusion 360. Before we get started, maybe a few notes about the Gerbo files. First of all, the name may seem a bit strange, which is purely the reason that the company that invented this file format was called Gerbo Scientific, and ever since it was a de facto standard, a de facto norm defined by this company back then. So what we use the Gerbo files for is to transfer the CAD data into CAM data. CAD data is the computer-aided design data, what we see right here, the stuff we do in Fusion, the layout we create, we design in Autodesk Fusion, and the CAM data is the computer-aided manufacturing. So that's the type of file, the machine-readable file, the machine code file, that later on the manufacturing machines in the prototyping shop or in the manufacturing facility can read. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do it with Fusion 360 Electronics Design. For those of you who wonder what the hell is Fusion 360 Electronics Design, before the Electronics Design was integrated in the Fusion 360 software from Autodesk, it was called Eagle and was a standalone software, which is now no longer available and fully integrated into the Fusion 360 package where you can have like mechanical design and also the electronics design. So let's go ahead. Your design may look like something like this or different. In my case, I only have the top layer in use, not the bottom layer. Doesn't matter at all. As soon as you want to create the Gerber files, just make sure to navigate through documents, rules, manufacturing. And that's where you want to head on. So press manufacturing. There you have a bunch of options here to export different type of files, cam preview and cam processor and so on. And the third one is export Gerber files. It's also mentioning a bunch of other files which will be automatically exported in one zip file. So just press this button here. So you can see Fusion 360 will create a bunch of different files, which are the Gerbo files, which is .gbr. And there you can see you get the copper files, the pro files, the solder mask, and so on. We will take another look on this as soon as we exported it. So just hit OK. You can decide on a name and location, and you see automatically the file type is a zip file, which you also can't manipulate. So just hit Save. And a second later, your Gerbo files are created and you can find them right on your screen in my case. So let's unpack the zip file to access the details. So let's go into the folder that was just created. We can have the admin files here, cam outputs, and there we go. Now we have the separation into assembly, drill files, and Gerbo files. So if we hit for drill files first, you can see that's a unreadable data format for your computer doesn't matter because this is basically the file telling the machine the computer aided manufacturing telling the machine later where to drill in relation to the rest of the layout if you take a look on the Gerber files those are the most detailed files so we have the copper top and the copper bottom so that's basically the pads the the circuits themselves so everything that will be copper on your circuit board later it will be represented in this file for the bottom layer and this file for the top layer. Then we will have a bunch of different files as well. Most importantly is the silk screen, which will of course provide you all the layout for the silk screen so that later in the manufacturing they know exactly where to put the silk screen and where not to. And I guess beside the copper, the most important one is the solder paste file. So in case you go for a full PCBA, printed circuit board assembly so you have a provider who a service provider who will assemble your parts also like pick and place machines and stuff like this then of course they need to know where to put the solder paste in case you have smd mounted parts in case you're only ordering a pcb so only the board without the parts and you want to solder yourself of course they won't use the solder paste file because they will only give you the pcb itself and then you have to put solder paste or tht parts by yourself in case you're wondering what's the difference between SMD and THT parts, just make sure to check out our video about PCBs in general, where we'll explain all of those details. So that's basically it. Now you know how to export it, what type of files you find there, all those files you don't have to deal with. You just have to know how to export them. Then you send it to your manufacturing provider and those guys will handle all of those files feed it into the machines and make sure you get your prototypes. In case you have a Volterra 1 or something similar where you can print your own circuit boards, stuff like this, or you can drill automated, something like this, 
you need to use those files. In this case, make sure to check out our video about the Volterra V1. So thanks for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up in case you liked it or be subscribed for more content around electronic design and IoT and see you next time.